Hey guys, so we got another body weight workout for you to kind of kick off the week. This one's going to be a little bit shorter of a video. I'm just going to show each exercise block once through just to save a little bit of time. Um, so you could obviously still do your standard number of times through on each block, which we'll talk about when we get to it, but I'm only going to demonstrate and then I'm going to do each block of exercise once through. All right, so let's not waste a bunch of time here. We're going to get right into the warm up. Let me just set our timer. Getting started with seal jacks for 20 seconds. So like normal jumping jacks, the hands are coming together in the front. And go. Good. From there, we're going to go 10 bodyweight squats. So hands either on the back of your head or out in front to help yourself balance. Just going for 10 reps on these. Nice and controlled. Sitting down, back up. Sitting as deep as we can, keeping that chest up. Good. Next one, we're going onto our backs. Going leg lowers, it's going to be eight on each side, so get where you can see me. Back's flat on the floor, starting with both legs up, toes are pointed towards me, knees are nice and straight, relax that head, lower one leg at a time. I'm going to go eight times and then switch. Make sure those knees are staying nice and straight. Good, other side. Keep that thigh locked out on the leg that's not moving. Leg should be nice and straight. So, even if you can't have your legs that high up, so your hips aren't at 90 degrees, make sure that leg's locked out. Keeping it going, we're gonna go for 20 seconds on a plank in and out. So, I'm gonna be a high plank position here, hands are on the ground. So I'm just walking one hand out at a time. You can't see me, <laughs> you can't see my hands, but I'm here. I'm going out, out, in, in, from that plank position. So let me see if I can get somewhere where you can see my hands. So I'm here, going 20 seconds on this. Ready, and go. So just walking those hands out one at a time, then back in. As always, trying to keep those hips as stable as we can. Trying to minimize movement here. And time. Good. Next one. We go our knee hug into a reverse lunge. So I'm pulling this knee up nice and high to my chest. As I step out of that, coming right back into a lunge. Go five times on one side and then switching. Good, other side, knees nice and high. Stepping back, dropping that knee to the floor. Good, next one, back on the ground, we're going dead bugs. Eight on each side. So, flat on my back, arms are out straight, knees and hips are at 90 degrees. Opposite arm and leg come to the ground at the same time. I'm gonna do eight on each side. Ready, and go. Alternating sides. I'm coming back down, push up position. I'm gonna go 20 seconds of mountain climbers. Ready, and go. Back's nice and flat, moving through the hip, bringing those knees up as high to the elbows as we can.
Good, and relax. Last one, we're gonna go world's greatest stretch, five times on each side. So all I'm doing is I'm going back to that push-up position, stepping that foot to the outside of my hand, letting, getting a good stretch through this back hip, so the back knee is staying off the floor, reaching up towards the ceiling, big rotation, going five times each side. Good, quick sip of water. I'll kind of demo the exercises for our first block of workout. All right guys, for this first block, we're gonna be working in intervals of 40 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. So nice long work period, nice short rest. Let's show our, our exercises. We're gonna go through this whole circuit three to four times, it's up to you. I'm gonna demo this whole thing through once, but you guys are gonna repeat it three times or four if you want a little extra challenge. All right, so quick demo of the exercises before we kind of run through this in real time. First one is gonna be a push up to child's pose. So, I'm here, either full push up position or I can have my knees on the ground in a knee push up if I need to. All I'm doing here is down as I come up, sitting my Butt back onto those heels, good stretch, right back into it. So, working that chest, working a little bit of shoulder movement, shoulder mobility there. Um, again, the push up portion of that could be full push up all the way out, or it could be on your knees. Make sure we're going all the way up, all the way down. Just sitting back into that child's pose for a second, trying to get good shoulder flexion, arms overhead. Next one after that, we're gonna be going prone cobra. So, again, still down on the ground. This time I'm coming down on my chest. Arms are gonna be at my sides here. I'm gonna be lifting my chest and my feet off the mat. So, trying to lift my chest up. It's gonna help work our lower back as well as some shoulders. So I'm here, arms are out, lifting, holding, relax, up, hold, relax. So we're holding for a second at the top of each of those. Next one, rather, we're going into squats. This time with our body weight squat, we're going nice and slow on the tempo. So you gotta beat your legs up a little bit here. Again, hands can be on the back of your head or out in front. Going nice and slow. Four seconds down. Two, three, four, one, one thousand. Two, one thousand on the way up. So we're going four seconds on the way down. Immediately right back into the upward portion for two seconds on the way up. So there's no pause when we hit the bottom or top. We're just keeping that moving the whole time. So 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,001, 1,002. That's how we're doing every rep, keeping that going for 40 seconds. Last one we're gonna be doing on this is gonna be a bird dog. So on our hands and knees. So knees directly below your hips, hands directly below your shoulders, opposite arm and leg, keeping everything nice and tight. In that hand and leg as high up as you can off the ground, really focusing on squeezing that glute to lift the leg. We want to make sure we're not arching our back to get this range of motion. So I don't want to see this. I don't want to see that big arch. I don't want to see us shifting our hips from side to side. Everything is locked in on that. All right. If you're doing that and you're like falling over the whole time, we could always keep the hands on the floor. Just alternate those legs. It's still good. Um, if we have the balance, I wanna try to work the arm and leg at the same time. All right, so again, we're gonna be doing this for 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Let's kind of show this once through in kind of real time, then we'll go on to the next block. All right, when we're ready, we get ourselves in position for that push up to child's pose in three, two, 
one, and go. So, push it up. Right back into it. If we're doing the kneeling version, I'm here. Got 15 more seconds on this one. Go all the way down, all the way up on each push up. Five more seconds. And we got 10 seconds. Then we're gonna go into our prone cobra. So we're on our chest, going to three, two, one. Up and hold. Making an A with those arms. Lifting the chest and feet off the floor. Row strengthening that lower back. Got about 17 seconds. And time. Good, moving on, going on to our nice slow squat. Torture ourselves a little bit. We're going to three, two, one. 1,001, 1,002, Good, keeping it nice and slow. Driving those knees out to stay over the toes the whole time. 10 more seconds. Good, and going to our bird dog. Ready in three, two, one. Alternating one side to the other. Get those arms and legs nice and high. Keeping that back flat. Not rocking side to side on our hips. Got 10 more seconds. And time. So we're gonna take a rest once it's over, catch your breath for a few seconds, give ourselves you know, 30 seconds to a minute if we need it. After that, we're gonna go back into that, starting from the beginning, starting from that push-up to child's pose, going either another two or three rounds. So three to four rounds total, all right? Our next block, we're gonna be doing it for reps, so we're not gonna be setting a timer. Uh, we're just gonna be kind of doing these, counting out the reps on our own, so we're gonna do, again, three to four times through on this, show you what we're doing, and then you guys can get into it. So, first one, I'll give you a couple different versions here, because again, I know lunges can be tough. Um, again, if these bother your knees, give you some different variations. But um, gonna start out, the kind of full variation of this is gonna be a pendulum lunge. So, going back, directly into a forward lunge. So one right to the other. I'm gonna go five in each direction with that. All right, so again, gonna be stepping back into a lunge without resetting in the center. Foot's coming out to the front. We're going five times each direction on each leg. All right, if that's absolutely not happening, if that's bothering your knees, Maybe the forward lunge is too much. Sometimes that puts some stress in the front of your knee. If that's the case, we could either go back to just a standard reverse lunge. We could go 10 on each side in that case because we're not adding that forward component. 
The other option is if lunges bother you in general and it's just kind of not happening, maybe your balance isn't there, maybe it bothers your knees or hips, we can alternate that. Um, we could replace that with any kind of step up. So either a sturdy chair or a step stool, just putting your foot on top of that box, chair, stool, whatever it is, driving through that top leg, coming all the way to the top, 10 reps, fully extending the knee, getting the hips through. After that, I don't have a whole lot of space here to show this. Um, hopefully you do it. Hopefully you have a little bit of space to move at home, but I'm gonna be doing a bear crawl. I'm gonna go 10 steps forward and 10 steps back. So this isn't our typical bear crawl where we have our hips way high in the air. We're going down to this quadruped position again. Knees directly below the hips, hands directly below the shoulders. Hips and knees are at 90 degrees. Go opposite arm and leg. Again, trying to lock everything in. Nice, small steps. Not letting our hips go side to side as we move. Everything should be moving straight forward. So we're going 10 steps forward, 10 steps back. All right. Next one on these, we're gonna be doing a feet elevated glute bridge. So we're gonna be doing these for 10 reps. So we're gonna elevate our feet on whatever we have available, whether you know you have a weight bench, one of these fancy aerobic steps, it could be on your couch, on a chair. Again, you don't want it to be anything too high, but just get something that we put our feet up on just to give us a little extra range of motion. All right, so here, Back's flat on the ground. Got my knees at about 90 degrees to start. Big breath, get, getting the core nice and tight so my back's not arching as I come up. Head's relaxed on the floor. Whew, hips all the way up. Whew. Going for 10 reps there. All right, last one. We could either do these on the floor or if we have that same box or bench or whatever we're using for our feet elevated position, we could also use this for our dips. So we're not using anything to lift those feet up. Say if you have to do those glute bridges on the floor because you don't have anything else. For the dips, we could do the same thing. So see if you can actually see me. All right, so my hands are on the floor. Fingertips are pointing towards my feet. So I'm not back like this. I'm here, lifting those hips up, just bending the elbows, lowering myself to the floor. So getting those hips fairly high to start. Dipping down, coming back up. You want to make this a little harder, we can do this on a chair, box, bench, again, whatever we have available. So I'm here, where we have our legs straight out. Oh, bring those elbows to 90 degrees, and then driving back up. Make sure we're trying to keep our shoulders pulled back. Nice, big, proud chest. So we don't want our shoulders collapsing in on this. We don't want to put a ton of stress on our shoulder joint. So. Make sure, again, fingertips are pointed forward, not backward, and keeping those shoulders pulled back again, showing off that proud chest like the obnoxious bodybuilder at the gym. <laughs> All right, so kind of go through this in real time for you guys, and then you guys can do another three to four rounds on your own. All right, so starting off with that pendulum lunge, going five times each direction. Let's see if I actually have space. So here, so that's our first side, gonna switch, second side. I'm realizing you guys can't see me at all here. <laughs> Don't use the step, it's just in my way. <laughs> All right, good, so I've done five on each side on both of those. Next, I'm gonna go into my bear crawls. Again, I'm gonna go 10 forward, 10 back. I do not have the space to do this in camera, but this here. All right, guys, so we're going 10 steps forward, 10 steps back. Once you finish those up, Finish your 10 forward and back. I'll give you a few seconds in case you're following along. After that, get my feet up on that box. Again, knees are about 90 degrees to start. Head's rested on the floor. 10 reps, so make sure I'm pointing those hips up towards myself. Three.
Good, a couple seconds rest if you need it. If not, going straight into our dips. Again, either on the floor, or if we have that box or bench, let's use it. So I'm here, lower myself down, butt touches the floor. Keeping those shoulders back. So that's kind of our second block. Hopefully that all makes sense. All right, once we finish all of that up, again, you're gonna go on your own for at least another two rounds on that. So for three to maybe four rounds total. And then we're gonna go on to our finisher. All right, so finisher is nice and simple. We're gonna go three rounds through on this. So it's gonna be body weight speed squat for 15 reps. So. Basically, as quick as I can bang out 15 reps on the squat, after we finish that 15th one, we're going to hold the bottom position for 20 seconds. So make sure we're not cheating and stopping above parallel. We're really trying to hold a solid bottom position for that full 20 seconds. After that, going into 10 push-ups. At the end of the 10th one, we're going to hold ourselves in a plank position for 20 seconds. All right, so we're going to repeat that three times through. So up to you for the plank, if you wanna be in a full push-up plank or if you wanna to drop to your forearms, being on your hands and elbows on the forearms is gonna be the tougher variation. Um, or if you wanna stay up in that push-up, it's all good too. So let's go through this really quick. Let me get a timer going just so I can see 20 seconds. All right, what we're gonna do, like I said, 15 squats as quick as we can. So. So that last one, going down to the bottom, holding that bottom position for 20 seconds. Chest is up, dropping those hips to the floor, pressing those knees out. Almost there, we got five more seconds. Three, two, one, and up. Good, so now when we're ready, gonna go into 10 push-ups. Again, as quick as we can, and then we're gonna hold that plank for 20 seconds. So we're ready, in position. One, two. Okay, come to that plank position, nice straight line from our heels up to our head, holding for 20 seconds. Everything's locked in tight, squeezing those legs, squeezing that butt, squeezing that stomach. Got three more seconds. Two, one, and relax. Good, so we're gonna go through that whole progression three times, and that's gonna be your finisher. Hope that's good for you guys today. It was a little short on time, so I was trying to get the video a little bit quicker so we could get this up and have it ready for you guys to go. Any questions, shoot me a message, post a comment. Thanks.